one thing I knew going in to say, and it should have been a line in the film, but in the end, you don't have to say it. When it comes right down to it, sleep is everything. It's everything. Uh, it affects your demeanor. It affects the qual your quality of life. It affects your presence in the world. I knew that going in as an idea. I left understanding that as a, as a deep experience for the purposes of filmmaking. Of course, I've been coping with lack of sleep for virtually ever. Take two. My name is Alan Berliner. I made a film titled Wide Awake. I'm the producer, the director, the writer, and the editor. Wide Awake is a first-person tour through a lifelong obsession with sleeplessness, insomnia, and how I've coped with it across my life. And uh, in order to make this film, which in a way has been brewing inside me for a very long time, I decided to use my, my trouble sleeping, use my insomnia, and how I've coped with it by becoming a night owl and by using those hours that I would otherwise be tossing and turning, using them to, to feed and fuel my work. I'm the fisherman, the fish, and the chef. Go figure that out. And of course, beyond the implications of my sleep deprivation and sleeplessness in my own life, I'm, I'm interested in naturally how all those, how the specificity of my experience transcends so that people who have trouble sleeping in their lives who see the film will, well, perhaps better understand their predicament, perhaps gain and glean insight into how they might help themselves. The world we live in has changed how people sleep, changed how people relate to sleep, created a, 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 a very broad uh, culture of, of sleep-deprived people. And there are implications to that on many, many levels, both personally, um, socially, economically, politically too, perhaps. Maybe if we were a better slept society, we would elect different leaders. I'm not so sure. Every film that I make is different. Every film, and should be, um, every film that I make is a journey. I start one place and end up someplace totally unpredictable. This film, in a way, ends with a series of questions, in a way. It ends with a conflict. It ends with, I, I hope, a kind of well-reasoned and but deeply felt contradiction. Is that I am a certain way, I've made certain choices in my life that maybe I can change or maybe I can't, but I'm also inextricably bound and responsible to other people who need me to function and to, I can't, in other words, I can't live in a different time zone for my family anymore. For someone who's been making personal films now for a long time, it almost seems like the most obvious subject for me. It took me this long into my life to feel strong enough or ready enough to even confront it. And by using cinema, because that's really important to me, which is already a dream machine to begin with, that I could use the language of cinema, sh image to image, shot to image, sound juxtapositions, layerings. Um, the idea that I could use the language that I know, the language that I love, to me was, I think made it all possible, was really the most exciting part of it uh, for me.